The Very Bad Bunny by Marilyn Sadler. PJ Funny Bunny did not mean to be bad, but sometimes he could not help it. One morning, he spilled pancake syrup all over the kitchen floor. His sister called him a bad bunny. PJ said he was sorry. He did not mean to spill the syrup. PJ did not mean to tangle up his brother's yo-yo either or cut up the newspaper before his father read it or invite his friends to lunch without asking his mother. I am sorry, said PJ, but PJ's mother sent him to his room anyway. That made PJ so angry, he threw his pillow out the window. This time, PJ did mean to be bad. The funny bunnies could not believe it. They had never seen such a bad bunny. Then, one day, PJ's little cousin, Binky, came to visit. Now, be good bunnies and go out to play, said PJ's mother. So PJ and Binky ran out to play. But Binky was not a good bunny. He threw PJ's best ball into the lake. Then he tossed PJ's cowboy hat into a tree and broke PJ's baseball bat. He even let go of PJ's balloon. Binky never once said he was sorry. Be nice, Binky, said PJ, or I will not play with you anymore. But Binky did not listen. He used PJ's crayons without asking and left them in the sun. Then he took the wheels off PJ's bike. That does it, said PJ. I'm taking you back to the house. But Binky was just as bad in the house. First, he glued all of PJ's checkers together. Then he ate the last cookie in the cookie jar. He painted bunnies all over the living room wall. He put his bubble gum on a chair and he locked everyone out of the house. The funny bunnies could not believe it. They had never seen such a bad bunny. Finally, it was time for Binky to go home. Everyone was so happy to say goodbye to him. Now that was a very bad bunny, said PJ. And all the funny bunnies had to agree. The end.